Hey guys, it's Christine again from London Gifties. Um, what I wanted to make a little video about today are um, these <laughs> these gorgeous little uh, six bits, which are my new wax seals, which I'm super chuffed about. And I wanted to try them myself and see how they came out. How is it looking? Um, again, super proud. Super proud wax seal mama, if there's such thing out there. Uh, um, yeah, so just wanted to make a little um, sort of like sample bits on these uh, torn watercolour cutty paper bits um, and see how they look and show it to you, you know, we'll just do it together, I suppose. So um, let's get into this. Um, yeah, so these are just, I'll show you what I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, so if you want to do some wax sealing with me so you can you can do that then i suppose <laughs> um so these are just paper bits that i tore from a large full um watercolor sheet and they just you know you know iffy looking but let's call it rustic so they're gonna work well um i got some bits from classic -y, like this bad boy that i'm trying to maybe incorporate i'm gonna quickly go through i'm gonna use some of the classic -y Hmm, this is upside down. Um, fair enough. Um, I'm going to be using some of these classic -y tapes. If you heard that little bump, that was my cat coming on the desk. Sorry about that, but I don't think she's going to leave. Uh, more classic -y tapes. Um, hopefully, you know, they'll find their place uh, in there. I got some tapes, my own tapes, some, some foil ones, because they just, I think they go with everything, and I really like them, and some map one, because if we're trying to get, like, a vintage -y look, that would be great. Um some tickets some vintage tickets i got some emergency tickets and i got some other type of tickets a uh, punch tickets that's the name of it punch tickets yeah i got those and uh, that sorry if you can hear the cat and i got some from the junk bundle just some really old looking this distressed looking you know whatever you call them uh just vintage paper sheets from books because I thought I uh, might as well have some fun and I really like them um, and I got these two that um, classic -y letterpress pads that I think I want to sneak in as well okay um, yeah and from for the ceiling I'm using some seal like wax seal beady things and um, that I got off Amazon because I think they, they work a bit better. If you, if I want to do a full wax seal, I, I'd rather do it with these beads and then have them just pour it on, pour it with a spoon. I'm going to be using this uh, craggy looking... Oh, that's not clean at all. Uh, craggy looking thingy, where I obviously melt them. It's a melting pot thingy. Um, I find them, yeah, if I want to do a full seal, um, I enjoy using these. However, if I do the drop bit thingies, um, it's nicer if I do it with one that has a wick let me see if i can find one well this one is again not very nice looking but for example this one it has a wick and it's nicer for the droplets that i like to enjoy uh, that i like to put as well and enjoy using so okay let me just pull up my chair hopefully my head will not get in the photo um video god i so old okay so cool let's put so i'm going to be selecting a couple of things which i'm gonna think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go can't talk today with these like gold looking things because you know why not um i'm gonna i'm popping them into the wax seal bit let me move this wax somewhere closer because knowing me i will probably find a way to set something on fire okay okay that's them Let's uh, let's have this bad boy here melting. And first one that I want to do is this flower envelope. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, my hands have been mulling paint and lots of other things that are on it. So that's the flower envelope. Um, can you see them well? I don't know. I, I'm trying to look myself and I'm not sure if I can see it very well. But yeah. It's a nice, beautiful, oh, blowing my own horn much. 
<laughs> well, I like I like how he came out. I'm very proud. So I just wanted to 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 share it with you as well. Um, yeah, that's the design. Super close up. Um, yeah, flower envelope and let's do that one first. So I put some gold ones in there, so I'll have a bit of a pinkish um, ticket. I have my dot liner, which is perfect for gluing things down and don't have to use glue because it gets everywhere and then you get, just get the rest of the bit sticky. And yeah, again, I'm just winging this one. Okay, this is a bit pink, so let's use this as well. Over the edge. Why not? And is it time for the paper yet? Okay, I think this is quite cool. Let me just let me just tear off the number of the page because that looks very curious to me. Let's put it here. What's missing? I think something a bit here and here is missing. Okay, what I didn't think. Um, let's just write flower envelope here, shall we? Sorry, that was wax seals. Acting up. That's not nice handwriting. However, I just wanted to write something down there and it felt like... It would be a good idea and then I, I like using these old book tapes because they just fit pretty much anywhere um sorry it's really bothering me these three tapes are upside down and again this holder thing is something that i think i got off ebay um yeah, everything seems to be even more messy and klutzy when I'm trying to make a video. Well, okay, this agonizing moment is over. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't I don't think I am that good with like layering things. So this is already too much, isn't it? Something's we're gonna shall we yeah, I think I'm going to stamp it up here, because where else? Well, I didn't really plan it in here, did I? Um, fair enough. You know, that's not a big deal. Let's put it there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking. I should, do some, I should do something a bit more. Interesting for next time. Okay, I got got my um got my pen that I like to use. Don't ask me to pronounce it or even read it because I don't know. But I think I'm gonna write this one. If I decide to write it again for the next one, I'm gonna write it a bit more nicely. Okay, shall we go and pour this bad boy on? So a mixed two colours, a mixed gold and like darker gold. And now I'm trying to pour it. Um, I don't think the light is very good. Okay, let me put this seal on. I'll leave it here. That's Cookie here, my cat. Can't see her, but you can see her shadow. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video a little bit and um, try to get the, some better lighting. Okay, guys. Um, try to put some light on. Not sure if it's really helping. Um, hopefully it is. Um, trying to brighten it in the post production. I don't think you really care much about these things. So just hopefully you can see it. I put some some new colors in here, which is another gold one, and I think a purple and a silver looking one. I was about to, to um I wanted to put in two purples, but obviously it seems like my eyesight isn't that good. So yeah, mix three colors. Um, also open up the window, which is over here. Um, this way. Um, if you can hear any sounds from outside, I'm very sorry, but somehow it gets very hot in this room when I try to film. So gotta keep the window open okay so um let's let's have a look at the flower envelope um okay well the top isn't very good but i mean it's not perfect it's not bad um i quite like it um can i have this little um j herbin tin of inking pad in gold um 
It looks more bronze, but anyway, got it off Amazon as well, I think. Or cold pens, maybe. Um, and let's have a little... Um, it doesn't really work, does it? Because the thing is already gold looking. Nope, not a big difference. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the flower envelope. I quite like it. I'm sorry if it's too much in your face, but just wanted to show it off. Yeah, so that's the first one. Um, let's move on. What is the second one? Uh, let's put this down. So what I'm going to do next is this little fish thingy. Um, it has an eye closed. So let's call it Sleepy Fish, shall we? Yep, I think it's a good name. Sleepy Fish. So let's do a Sleepy Fish. Um, um, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to take some of this because it's um, blue. And I think that would fit well. And this time let me put some tape. Some classic tape, but on the back. Again, I'm just loosely gluing this on. Shall we do one at the front? Is it too much framing? Not straight. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I think it's time to do some more paper. Actually, I like this. This edge looks very nice. This edge looks very nice and... Mm, aged so put it here and I have this little tape um, that was from one of my sub boxes that I'm just going to secure this at the back just in case it wants to come undone again a bit messy but I think by now you probably you know it's not a secret that I do things messily, so that's the way we're gonna roll. Um, does that look too naked? I think what I want to add with the fishy. Um, got some twine that I got, I think, from one of my Happy Mail. Somebody sent it to me. It's got a very nice little end and it's blue. So let's use that. Where shall we put it? Here? Okay, let's try and glue it down. I don't know if it's gonna work, but just so it stays in place. Okay, and let's pour this. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's a bit of wax. Yeah, I can I can hear the children too. <laughs> I'll close the window once I press this down. I got some fresh air now. Okay. Okay. Let's put this down. And see... Like so. Okie doke. Um, yeah, sorry, I just paused it for a little bit to close the window, but I think you can still hear the children jumping on a trampoline in, in great happiness um fair enough okay let's have a look at this sleepy fish shall we okay sorry for the shaky camera it's attached to the desk and it's a bit actually, wow actually this color looks quite nice Ooh, fancy fish fancy sleeping fish yeah i think i'm gonna name this sleepy fish because it looks nice and pretty accurate. What do you think? Hmm? Okay, I know what's missing. Let me light up this little stick. And leave a couple droplets. Because I think that sometimes, that is sometimes exactly what's missing, eh? Couple of droplets. Trying to vary them in size. It's a little bit fun. 
I don't know, does this look fun to you? Looks fun to me. Okay. Okay, one last one. Let me put it out. And that's sleepy fish. Yeah, I think. Sorry, I think I quite like it. Nice. Okay. That was sleepy fish. Next one. I already put some colors in, which are three um, silvers. It takes, um, if you ever use these things that look like um, little um, stars, I think you can get them off Amazon. I got them off Amazon. Um, three in the spoon is perfect for a nice full um, wax seal, you know, outcome. Um, it's quite nice. Um, it takes a while to, to do because I think, uh, I mean, again, it's dirty with other wax. and Well, to be fair, it's not working because the tea light was almost dead. Let me just, I, I grabbed a new one because I, I was anticipating that something's going to go wrong. So I grabbed another tea light. So let's light that bad boy up. And, um, and again, wait for these ones to come come through to us yeah i know it's very dirty i have to clean it i know that i just don't do it because i'm lazy um okay third one shall we go to the next one which by the looks of it is mushrooms so i made this because i love mushrooms i love foraging mushroom picking in latvia that's quite a cool thing that i used to do with my family every late august early autumn and i just love mushrooms as a you know, like a item to adorn products with. Let's put it that way. Because I just, I don't know. Mushrooms are cool. Hope this is visible. Again, the light is tricky. I have some light set up. I have the window light, but still. Not sure if it's the best visibility. However, yeah, that's the mushrooms. So for mushrooms, I think this one will be fine. Because it is brown. And I got some, oh, rats, no, yeah, well, something's definitely a little bit, um, not burning per se, but smoking. Wouldn't it be fun if my house would catch fire whilst I'm filming a video? Oh, God. Okay, sorry. Okay, so brown, because it's mushrooms. Um, they, they grow in a forest, if you didn't know, mostly. And um, I have this silver. That's super nice, Trey. And I have this silver wax getting ready. So brown and silver should kind of, you know, look nice together. Have some more paper. That's, cool. That's quite cool. I think somebody's just uh, marked where they finished reading and clearly did not pick it back up because I have I have this book now and I'm tearing it apart. Yeah, that's uh, my cat cookie jumping in the box. Because why not? And this little... This little boy in the corner. Shall we put some ticket thingy? Tickets check. Well, I don't want to put the whole thing, but I think this looks pretty cool. I would tear it, but I wouldn't tear it as I wanted it. Um, so just this is left. So I cut it. Put some glue. Emergency ticket for mushrooms, okay? I suppose so, if you say so. So shall we put like a like a random number? One, three, four, one. Zero point one three one. And shall we put some random letters like PHQ? So it looks um, a bit more interesting. Oh god. Okay. Okay, let's pour this wax and it's gonna be straight and center this time. Um this time put some wax dots with the same same color. And try and get it straight and push it down. Okay. Um, whilst it is 
sort of getting ready. Um, let's choose wax for the next one. Let's choose next color for the next one. Wax color for the next one. I think let's put three reds and we have a bit of silver left, so that will make that nice shimmer thing. And I think for this one, previous one, I forgot to press this down. Again, it's not very nicely visible, and I just wasted some of the product, but you know. Okay. Okay. Let me just do it here so it looks a bit, you know. Um, rustic. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop saying rustic. Okay. Shall we take this off? Okay, it's not ready yet. Let's wait. Oh, just run the wax a little bit. Yeah. A bit impatient okay so okay let me just gather some bits that I might use for the next one I definitely want to use the rest of this because of the red color and the red color in here it will look nice um shall we try again yay okay so this is the mushrooms shall we just I'll do this now because it should work now a little bit because it's sort of gold, gold on silver. Yeah. Um, mm, so this is mushrooms. I don't know. Can can you see? Okie doke. So, this is the mushroom, so let's put that aside. And let's take the next paper that we're going to do. The next seal, which is going to be the peony. I love peonies, they're one of my favorite flowers. Um, I like them because they're one of the first ones to arrive uh, in the spring. And I kind of know that summer's coming and it's exciting. Also, they have a very beautiful big head. The flower head is huge and it smells amazing. The bad thing about peonies is they don't last for a, a good while, at least in my experience. They last for just a couple of days, especially in a flower vase. So I thought to make a wax seal with a peony to, you know, to have it last longer. And obviously be able to send to your pen friends and, you know, share the, the, the spring greetings and... You know, spread a bit of joy. So yeah, let's do the peony next, which I have already the red wax in there for. Now, let's add the ticket on the side. And this really needs some more um, nice Vintage paper with some German writing on it. And oh, I forgot. I think what I will use this one is um, it's a stamp. You know, I forgot how much I love stamps, postage stamps. So got a nice collection of those. So I'll, I'll pop that in here as well. Actually, I put that on on top. So we have that, and we have this space here, sort of for it. Something's. Something's a bit missing from this setup. Maybe. No, it, uh, no. It looks nice. Yeah, okay. Shall we just do this? Okay. Red with a bit of glittery inside. Okay, oh, this wax is way too hot. I don't know if it's going to work. You can see the wax, wax is bubbling, so I left it in there for too long. My mistake oh well okay next one we'll do um, put purple and blue the next one so that one's getting ready whilst I'm waiting for this overheated one to cool down um yeah let's write peony J 
just so I don't forget what the name of it is, eh? Okay. Um, oh, and I got something else that I want to use for my next one, which is a bit of um, this crinkly wax paper. Um, just gonna get a bit of bit of it so I can use it with the next one. Um, I really like it because wax paper is very nice, looks very cool, um, and sometimes I use it for my packaging. Um, you know, just to make it a bit more zing and pep. Okay, is this ready? Yes. Ooh. You're excited. I'm excited. That's all that matters, I suppose. So this is the peony. Yep, the wax was definitely overheating. Beautifully made it a bit messy. <laughs> a little bit more messy if possible. But yeah, there we go. The peony. With a bit of... That's not bad. Yeah, you can see the wax is bubbly. So again, it's too hot. But, yep, yeah, not too bad. So let's put it aside. And the next one. Okay, let me move the paper. Everything's covered in cat fur. Sorry that you can see that. And the next one. Um, it's flower buds. Again. I, I enjoy everything with nature theme and flower buds is again something that is significant and signifying to, you know, something good is coming, usually in spring. But yeah, let's do that one, shall we? And as I think it should be for spring, I want to use some of these tickets which have green in them. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I, my dot liner ran out of the dots, so I'm just gonna replace replace it with a new one. Um, I'll try and find a link for it. I got it off either Amazon or eBay. Um, so you have the outers as is, and then you just change the insides. Okay, uh, yeah, let me do this very quickly because I can see the wax is already too hot. Um, let's put this, and I said I wanted to use this wax paper. Um, yeah, wax paper is really hard to, I find it, the proper wax paper is hard to attach to anything. But I'll just leave it here, and I'll make the... Put the seal in the middle and hopefully it will hold together. Um, this is quite actually nice as is. Put a bit of classic key. Maybe up here. And then there the green one. Here nicely and again wax is too hot. But hopefully it will work so let's go and put this nice flower buds okay and for the next color let's put some gray three gray beads yeah this color looks quite nice for it um that's uh, whilst we're waiting for this one to dry um maybe Look at the next next one. I'm gonna have I wanna put some more of this nice vintage paper down. And let's take some more of this one, which is the German page. Glue it here, uh, here. Aiming for 
for the middle to have the wax seal on again okay like this way so classic key okay let's have a look back at uh, the flower buds and if it came out fine it did doesn't look half as bad let's put a little bit more of this so it pops a bit more Yeah, there we go. So flower buds came out nicely. Again, you can see from the wax, it's been overheated, but things happen. Put that one aside and put this one. And I made it grey because it is a teapot. <laughs> it's a flower teapot, floral teapot, floral teapot, sorry. Um, and I wanted to make it look like a bit more more earl grayish, so I put some gray in some gray wax in there, and I think this one needs a bit of pop of color, so I'll take this and writing on green foil tape, and it will look nicely here. Uh, let's do this floral teapot to the win. Okay, let's put some droplets around it and put that one out and put the teapot down hope it doesn't spill over the edge and it's not spilling over the edge okay yeah so that's it just a bit of weight now um and yeah so these are the new six new wax seals um first wax seals from London Gifties original designs. I'm very happy and very proud to to have them, um, and I really hope you enjoy them. Um, there is a, a limited stock available at the moment. If they all sell out, I might um, consider restocking. But I just wanted to I just wanted to create wax seals because I I'm a happy my lover. I lo um, write quite a lot of letters to my pen pals, um, snail mail style. So it usually takes a lot of time for me to reply, but you know, it's sometimes life gets busy, especially in the summertime when you want to enjoy yourself and also do work and also do, you know, make new products and also obviously reply to your pen pals and pen friends and, and other, you know, great people that I've met. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this something that, again, as every product I like to have something that I'd use myself and I definitely use these wax seals myself. Again, these six, I'm keeping it to myself. So, look out, pen pals and, and happy mail receivers that might have these um, these seals coming your way on envelopes and such. So yeah, this is the this is the floral teapot. It came out nice as well. I'm quite happy about that. Again, I hope you can see. Yeah. So that's it. These are the six designs. Um, I really, yeah, I, I enjoy making them. Uh, again, it's a bit of pressure, obviously, doing it in front of camera, and something's definitely not going to work out fully and such. But yeah, these are these are it. Um, these are the six designs. Um, releasing on Friday in my shop. Um, Friday. Uh, 16th August I think sorry I don't have my calendar with me so yeah I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, wax seal with me <laughs> um, and seeing the new designs and uh, yeah thank you everyone who's watching commenting liking subscribing and just leaving nice messages to me I very much appreciate that and thank you so much for all your love um, and I'll see you in the next video cheers bye -a.